Okay guys, it's time for another one of these Habs News Update thingy-majiggies here. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how Thomas Tatar has officially moved on and found a new home. We'll also have a little chat about what's been going on with some of the contract offers that have been made to Montreal's restricted free agents, and even have a little chat about Habs defense prospect, Caden Gooley. So stick around! Jeez! But first, before we begin, if you guys are a fan of the Habs, or just chicken, huh? Everybody loves chicken. Then please consider subscribing to my channel, as I upload a ton of hockey content, and would really enjoy having some more you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Now, let's start things off with the big news. About a man that's been known around here as Tuna. Okay, and if you were a big fan of Thomas Tatar over the past couple of seasons, kind of like this guy in the photo here, yeah, he's definitely not happy right now, because Thomas Tatar has signed a new contract with a new team, that team being the New Jersey Devils. Ho <laughs> ho he's a devil now. Now, we all kind of saw this coming. I mean, Thomas Tatar had some really strong seasons for the Habs, he really did. We got the numbers to back it up, but he did kind of find his way out of the lineup during the recent playoff run, and he didn't manage to crawl his ass back into the lineup at any point. Then the playoffs ended, we kind of got the indication from Bergevin, you know, in a low-key kind of tone, that, yeah, he ain't coming back. And then they went out and brought in Hoffman for the left wing, and then they added a guy like Perot. So yeah, Tuna, Tuna's gone, boys. And you know what the shittiest part about this is? Now we gotta find a new player on the team to name after a fish. <laughs> you know how hard that's gonna be? God! Anyway, let's take a quick look at his new contract here. So according to Fridge or Fridge or whatever the hell he likes to be called these days, Tatar is gonna be making $4.5 million a season for the next two years. And my basic math skills tell me that's $9 million bucks. So there you have it. Best of luck, Mr. Tartar. On to some more news. Let's get some of these signings out of the way. Starting things up with former NHL pissed Alexander Burroughs, who is now an assistant coach of the Montreal Canadiens, and he just signed up a three-year contract extension with the team, locking him up until the end of the 2023-2024 season. Now, as for a player putting some ink to some paper and signing one of these qualifying offers that were given out by Montreal is Michael Pizzetta. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend, who the team announced signed a two-way, one-year contract. Some background here, Pizzetta is a Habs sixth-round draft pick from the 2016 draft. He's a 23-year-old left winger, and last season he managed to muster up two goals and three apples in 20 games with Lavelle. Side note, he also racked up 30 penalty minutes, because uh, that's the kind of player he is. He's actually fought some pretty big bastards down there. As for Michael McNickery sticks, apparently August 11th is the big day. There's going to be an arbitration hearing to, you know, see if they can somehow manage to suck some more pennies out of Bergevin's pocket. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. Next up, Caden Gooley. As Craig Button the other day was praising the shit out of this young prospect. Because if you didn't already know, Caden Gooley is about to make his second appearance at the World Juniors. For Canada, of course. And according to Craig Button, he thinks Caden Gooley should be named the captain of Team Canada. That's right. He thinks he's got some good leadership skills. And uh, he's been getting a ton of praise from everyone lately. And it's been exciting to see a Habs prospect earning a lot of respect like this at such a young age. And I know, I'm pretty hyped to see how well he plays this year. Anyway guys, that does it for this Habs news update. I hope you all enjoyed. If you didn't, well, that's too friggin' bad. And I'll see you next time.